I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about how to write C sharp program in JPEGs Writer. So, in Google Write, add here JPEGs Writer, and here you can find the official side of JPEGs. So, here you can find download and here a cross platform .NET ID to develop .NET ASP. Now, hereafter, let's click this or sign JPEGs.com. Now, hereafter, the next important thing is. So here you can find add here develop.net, asp.net, .net core, Xamarin, Unity application, Windows, Mac and for Linux. And here this is for 30 days and here let's click on download. So add here thank you for downloading. So add here the file size is 467 MB. So this file that I already download. So I'm not going to download. Now hereafter let's go to download. And here after download, here you can find JetBrains. So okay, here JetBrains or two. Now here after let's click this exe file. So and here please so wait setup is loading verifying installer. Now here after this is the add here JetBrains writer or setup wizard. Click on next. Here, so this is the location add here. The file is going to install. So, if you want, then here you can change by clicking plus button. So, add here space required 1.6 GB. Now, click on next and here JetPens writer and here add path. Here, add folder here SLN CS and CS, CS project. Now, click on next. So, add here JetPens. It's okay. Now, click on install. So, add here extracting. Now, installing place wait. So, it will take some time. So I'm going to pause the video. Completing JetBrains Writer setup. So at here it's done. Now if you want then here you can reboot your PC. And here I want to manually reboot later. So to radio button. So selecting this option. Now here after click on finish. Now here after close that. And here you can uh, find there is the icon created JetBrains Writer. Now let's double click on this icon. Now here after don't import setting. Let's click on OK. Now here after we have uh, two options dark and light. So I'm going to select at here light option. Now here after let's uh, click at here editor color scheme. Now here you can select red light visual studio Dracula or default. So I'm going to select at here this option or writer light. Now here after click on next. And here you can find resort key map. So here you can find control and go to everything f2 rename and here after control t go to everything and here shift plus f2 find users so going to uh, use add here visual studio key map now here after click on next environment and here you can find add here or dot net code 2.17 for c sub dot net code version 2.2104 it's required so add here i install that one now add here this is xamarin android so add here xamarin sdk4 Android mobile application. So this is for mobile application and here this is for iOS and Mo Mac mobile application. So at here for using CSOF, you should install this one. Now here after click on next default plugin and here uh, web development here version data stores this all those things. So at here uh, it already installed. So I'm not going to disable. Now here after let's click on next feature plugins. And here, if you want, then here you can install IDEO bin here, heap allocation viewer, this Python community. So I'm not going to install here. So let's click on next, getting started. And here after next step, let's click on start using JetBrains Writer. So right here, or uh, JetBrains Writer, it's opening. Welcome to JetPens Writer and here JetPens Writer new solution open solution project open fan. So I'm going to create add here new or solution click or this plus and here after give the solution name. So add here first C sharp. So going to write add here first C sharp. Now here after so let's so click on create button. Now here after let's go to file tab and here you can find new click there and here you can find empty and here more template and here so here class library and here console application. 
So right here console application when I click, so here you can find language. So right here we can select C sharp, F sharp and here VB. So going to create the project on or C sharp and here framework .NET Core 2.2 is there. Now here after if you want or to develop ASP application, so you can select this option. And here for this is right here desktop application. Here you can select Windows form application, WPA application this all those things and here you can do the unit testing and here framework it's so selected 4.6 so i'm going to uh, create and here or uh, csr program so add your console application and here let's give a project name at here or uh, first now here after the next is let's click on create button Now here after the project is created with the name first, if you double click here, you can find CS, double click and here you can find program.cs. So I just uh, double click add here. So here you can uh, see this is the code console.write line. To execute the code, go to run tab and here you can uh, find run. So if you want then here you can debug, debug also and here you can attach process list all those things you can do at here. Click on run. So at here let's click on edit configuration. And here after click on run. Getting the message hello world because I have console cross dot right line, so whatever in double code, so it's a displaying into output screen. So, right here, this is the output, and here I'm getting the hello world. And here, after you can write any kind of code inside there. And for execution and for debug, here you can get this option. And here, after you can write ASP.NET code also. And here, after new, here you can find ASP, you can do unit here, desktop application. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.